Hi, welcome back to Eddie's Kitchen. Today I will make a popular Korean snack, mammoth bread, which is called mammoth bang in Korean. This recipe can be divided into three parts, the bread, the crumble, and the filling. Let's start by baking the bread. Put two tablespoons of salted butter into one cup of milk. Heat the butter and milk in the microwave until the butter melts. Put 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of active dry yeast, 2 tablespoons of sugar, and half teaspoon of salt in a mixing bowl. Put the mixing bowl on the mixer. If you use a KitchenAid mixer like me, attach the dough hook to knead the dough. Mix everything gently. Slowly pour the milk mixture into the dry ingredients. Knead the dough with a medium to high speed for about 10 minutes. If you have a bread machine, you can use it. But if you do not have either of them, this is how to knead the dough by hand. Put some flour on your hands and the table when you work the dough. After 10 minutes, the dough will be soft and elastic like this. Take out all the dough from the mixer's bowl and form the dough into a round bowl. Spray some cooking oil on the bottom surface of a medium-sized mixing bowl. Place the dough into the greased bowl. Cover the bowl with some plastic wrap and put it in a warm place to rise. This is how I do it. I turn on the oven to warm, put the dough in the oven and leave it rise for about 10 minutes. Then I turn off the oven and let the dough rise for about 20 more minutes in the oven. I will leave the oven light on. A warm oven helps the rising process go faster. Meanwhile, let's start to make the second part, the crumble. Put 1 tablespoon of creamy peanut butter and 2 tablespoons of salted butter in a small mixing bowl. Whisk them gently until the butter mixes into the peanut butter. Mix 3 tablespoons of sugar into the peanut butter mixture. Break one large egg and whisk it. We will only need half of it. Mix the egg into the butter mixture. Put half cup of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of almond powder, and one teaspoon of baking powder into a separate bowl. Mix everything together. Sift the dry ingredients onto the paste. Gently mix it together and make crumbles. The crumble part is done, so let's check on the dough now. After 30 minutes, the dough will have doubled in size. Take it out of the oven or warm place. Poke the dough with a finger. If it has risen well enough, the dough will not deflate. Press down on the rest of the dough to deflate it. Divide the dough in half. and shape each one into a bowl. Cover the dough balls with a kitchen towel and let it rise again for about 15 minutes. This time, we will rise at room temperature. After 15 minutes, the dough will be a little bigger. Preheat the oven to 355 degrees. Roll each bowl into a 13 by 8 inch oval. One piece will be for the bottom, and the other, the top, like a sandwich. Move one piece of dough onto a greased cookie sheet, and shape it again if needed into an oval. Do the same thing for the other piece of dough on another greased cookie sheet. Brush some milk on the top surface of the both pieces. You can also use melted butter. This helps the bread get nicely golden brown. Sprinkle half of the crumble evenly over one piece of dough and sprinkle the remaining crumble evenly over the other piece of dough. Bake both of them in a preheated oven for about 20 minutes. The baking time can be slightly different depending on the oven. After 20 minutes, it should be well baked bread. Set it aside to cool. For the last part, let's prepare a delicious filling for this bread. Put a whisk attachment on your mixer.
pour one cup of heavy whipping cream into the mixer's bowl and then add one and a half tablespoon of sugar into it. Whip the cream on a medium speed for about 5 minutes. In 5 minutes, you should have a nice and tasty whipped cream. We will also need one third to half cup of strawberry jam. Now, let's make a gigantic sandwich. Spread the strawberry jam evenly on one piece of bread. I used one third cup of jam for this video, but you can adjust the amount to your taste. If you only want to use jam without the whipped cream, you might want to add more jam. Spread the whipped cream on top of the strawberry jam. Leave some space all around the edge so that the filling doesn't squeeze out when you cut the bread. Put the other piece of bread on top. Cut the bread to your desired size with a bread knife and serve. The bread, sweet and nutty crumbles, and delicious filling makes for a very delicious combination. With the whipped cream, the bread can be kind of messy to eat, but it is totally worth it. So please try someday. If you liked this mammosbang recipe, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.